Hey guys, what's up? Today we are doing Lucifer Season 6, Episode 6, and in the last episode, Chloe got a little bit cuckoo when she handled the knife, and we're not quite sure still why Lucifer ended up abandoning their future child, which is Rory. Um, just a lot of family issues going on there. I mean, the whole show is basically family issues. I mean, am I right? But anyway, um, that kind of happened. Everyone kind of met Rory, and that was kind of the gist of the whole last episode there. Um, but if you guys want to check out this episode completely unedited or get early access for the next one, please feel free to check out my Patreon and the link in the description below. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this episode. Do we think he's going to end up liking this good cop? Good morning to you all. Well, good morning, Harry. Thank you. A new one, huh? Yep. Uh. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks. I think he might like her. Oh, man, look at you and all your blues. Great. <laughs> what did you made me do? Excuse me? Uh, oh, not you. Sorry. I, I mean the pothole. Feels good to be back in a patrol car. Come on, man. There's only four people. I mean, you're in, in the, the back of the patrol car. See me. And one of them is me. Be safe out there, okay? I love you, man. I love uh, being a, a, a cop. <laughs> Poor Dan. He's gonna end up being bored. Okay, then let's start thinking about Rory and how she's feeling. Odd. That's what May said. Hmm. That is odd. Uh -huh. Anyway, the fact of the matter is... Yeah, Rory when Linda and May like say the yes, same thing... and I'm not sure I have the right to even be God, father to all, if my own daughter feels neglected. So, how can I possibly fix things? Hang on. You abandoned your daughter and she doesn't hate you. How did you pull that off? Oh... Well, you know the story. Spend time with her now. Because what you can't do is go back in time and be there for all of the birthdays and Christmases that you missed. Or in your case, jumped to the Haven't future. Haven't had yet, yeah. The past is in the past. Or, the, or in, in yeah. the future. Case, the future. Uh -uh. Ugh. What if I could? Time travel? What, time travel? Uh, can you? Only I mean, Rory was able to do that. Tried hard enough, given the self-actualization of it all. I was a literal doctor. Uh, I was being metaphorical. Nerd. Uh, Could always count on my big sis for good porn, though. Oh, <laughs> of course. Did I? Oh, okay. The only thing T hides is chocolate. There you go. All right. So fresh towels are up upstairs in the linen closet. I know. I grew up here, remember? Oh, I didn't know she grew up in the right. same house, Sorry. though. I, uh... For what happened in the therapy session, um... The only reason that... It was really Chloe's fault. ...thought, you know, that you killed him. That was because of me. But you don't know Lucifer. Not yet. So maybe just... Give him, give him a, chance. a chance. He might surprise you. Carol gonna be back in this episode? He hasn't been in an episode since the second one. I'm assuming it includes Nosy McNoserson over there. Uh. Mm -hmm. But more important. Speaking of bones, I she's from bones. Prime witness unaccounted for. Who's that? Are you Caleb Mayfield? I said, are you Caleb Mayfield? Get down oh. on the ground, get your hands in your head. Listen, pump. I said, get down on the ground, put your hands on your head. Hey, 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 you're hurting him. Get back up and put your hands on your head. Put it in. Please, just do what they say. You're hurting him. He's mad. Mm. That's not going to be good. I would not have shaken his hand. This neighborhood's a war zone. And a gangster. Could be the detective. Last week. Only a matter of time before somebody retaliated. Want to add something, rookie? Well, you know, it just doesn't look like a gangbanger lives here. No, things don't always what they seem. Mm-hmm. Agreed. 
How big of a perimeter would you like us to process? Let's keep it to the living room. No need to waste taxpayer dollars when we already know what happened. Uh, they don't. But what about okay. the bathroom? What about it? Or maybe the Easter Bunny came in through that window. Harris, let's put out a bolo for a fuzzy dude with big ears, buck teeth. Look, I get it. When you're a rookie, what an toothbrush ass. looks like a clue. But the simplest explanation is usually the right one. That dude's a bad dude. Anyway, I'm at the scene, and I just keep having this strange feeling that something isn't right. Oh, I knew it. It's like a like a divine jankiness, right? No, no, no. It's more like a feeling <laughs> that someone jankiness. else was in the apartment. Also, if you could keep this between us, that would be great. Uh, yeah, sure, of course. My lips are zipped. Uh, on this matter, or anything else you would ever want to talk about. Uh, oh, she's trying to pry work, so bad. Mm. <laughs> trying to fill for his wings. Hey, Lou. <laughs> More fun to play with at that age, so we could uh, make a spaceship uh, or a castle. Yeah. <laughs> Strip club. Strip club. <laughs> Very good. Uh, right, give us your best. Come on. Wow. Yes, I would definitely take some eggnog. Love it. Your FTO is Harris, yeah? Yeah. Well, she's one of the best. I mean, I don't think stuck is the right word. I heard she was offered a detective seat and turned it down. She what? Turned it down. She probably wanted to train other cops. It's probably what she wanted. And usually, in the end, they do get it right. Do they, though? Do they? Depends on the situation, I guess. The two of them were in some serious love. Hmm. You know how I know? The sex. <laughs> this courtyard <laughs> echoes like a canyon, and I certainly know what good love sounds like. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Don't mean to embarrass you, darling. Oh, no, 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 no. I was just, um... I just realized I'm out of pound cake, Miss Loretta. Well, don't you wear this plenty. Be right back. Does he not like strawberries? Because there's like uh, quite a bit of strawberries oh, on man, there. Oh, man, she's so cute. I had a lot of time in hell to think about things I wish I'd done differently. And fighting bullshit racists like that in the department is definitely one of them. Okay, then I will. I mean, but he... I... careful with that. Be careful. Mm-hmm. There's got to be a reason Ryman is impervious to complaints. Who knows where he's got this corner? Yeah, Man, I wish I was really here so I could help you. 0 to 60 in 5.9 seconds with a top speed of 140 miles. She strikes me as a, a motorcycle true, girl. True American beauty. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's just because of the leather now. or what. Uh, easy on the gas. <laughs> now, remember, she requires an she extremely knows how to gentle drive. touch, much like a lover. <laughs> Go! See her on that red light. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, <laughs> she's but she was twice it. your age. So picked it up very quickly, didn't you? Mm. She probably very already quickly. knew how to drive. She's probably just screwing yeah, with you that whole time. It's my car. Mm. Chloe and I play by very different sets of rules. Chloe's dad was a cop, so she's legacy. And also there's what is it about Chloe? Oh right, she's white. Yes. Mm, yeah. I turned on a detective seat because they wanted to ship me out to the Palisades, get me far, far away from the hood. One less tattletale. Like I said, I used to have a mouth on me. Used to. <laughs> what kind of man are you, then? The kind that owns up to his mistakes, which is why I brought you in. To say, you made the right call. And thanks to you, we're closing in on the killer. Got hit on those prints Lopez found. Kayla Williams? Was she the killer? And guess what? She's got gang ties. Anyway, thanks again, rookie. Mm, be careful. 
Wouldn't have found it without you. Yeah, still definitely be careful with that one. I thought about something both Mays and Dr. Linda said to me. Mays and Linda gave you the same advice? Mm -hmm. That's odd. Yeah. I know. Huh. Literally so everyone so thinks they must so. be onto something, right? Well, I don't know. Anyway. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. But look, none of your loved ones have been born yet, so you know, slim pickings, but true. There is your favorite is auntie. That. Oh no. <laughs> this isn't gonna be good. <laughs> Both of them. You love that money just can buy. Is she gonna like freak out or something? She has like weird looks. What I say, she strikes me as a motorcycle girl. What is it you do want then? I mean, I'd mojo you, but it doesn't work on celestials. Then just ask. Oh, true. What is it you desire? Right. What do you desire? I, wa I want you to leave me alone. Rory. He's got glitter on his face. <laughs> I don't think you should give up. I just, I want to know why he wasn't there. Or maybe he got kidnapped? If I see something, I can say something. But carefully. To the right person. To the right person? And that's a shame. No, no that can't be it. I do have this. That's the, the slug I pulled out of Michaela's thigh. Well, this is great. But how the hell are we going to run this without anyone finding out? I might know a guy. <laughs> Ella. Okay, so ballistics around the slug. The, the man cop. who killed Kevin. I saw him do it and he knows I saw you have to help me. Of course, just tell us where you are. I really want to know if it's a detective. The big oh, there's blood. blood. You have to believe me. I do. Mm -hmm. We do, Michaela. And we're here to help you. You can trust us. You just got to be careful because he's going to be out there. Oh, shit. Maybe it's not the detective. No, it's not. This whole cemetery is surrounded by half a dozen cars. Suspect is Michaela Williams, age 25. Oh, no. On the ground, now! Me? He's got the gun! I said down on the ground! Whoa, 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 she's a victim. That man is the perpetrator. Uh-oh. The detective is what are you doing? there now. Take her down. I said get her. She's armed. No, she is not. Get away from her, you idiot. No, I'm not going to do that because she's innocent. It's her killer. No, 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 I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do Please just do what they say. Put your hands on your head. Put your hands on your head. Get off of him. He's not gonna shoot him. Please. The evidence that you dug up cleared her. You did some good work. On a first day, too. How do you do that? Hmm? You do this. Every day. Day after day. Mm hmm. Because I don't think that I can. Uh, by the way, you still owe me 10 bucks. Uh, for what? <laughs> oh, for that coffee, huh? Oh, she can play guitar, too. Oh, and sing. Oh, see, they make a really good duo. They make a really good team. She forgive him, I guess? I mean, not completely forgive him, but at least enough to sing with him. Oh, that was 
That was a good episode. It was a sweet episode. A daddy and his daughter singing. The really, they make a really good duo. That was good. I thought she was going to be like gone gone after that one scene, but she wasn't. She ended up coming back and singing, so... Hopefully this next episode. I'm wondering if he gets kidnapped. I don't think he probably gets murdered. I bet he gets kidnapped or something to the point of like 20 some odd years. But anyway, um, if you guys want to check out this episode completely unedited or get early access for the next one, please feel free to check out my Patreon and the link in the description below. And if you will for me, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode.